All right, guys, I will be recording our lesson for the next six pages in our interactive notebook. And it will cover trigonometric ratios, sine, cosine, and tangent. Believe it or not, you have all seen these um, trigonometric functions before on your calculator. On your calculator, you have those buttons. I know I usually hear students mispronounce it. They say, Miss Gray, what is the sign, the sin, what is the cos and tan? These are the buttons that we will be working with, sine, cosine, and tangent. You guys can go ahead and pause the video and update your table of contents. Today we will finish on page 85. You guys will have to take notes today. So make sure you get the video paused if needed so that you don't get behind. Page 80 of our notes will be trigonometric ratios. And go ahead and write that definition. Ratio of two sides of a right triangle. That is the trigonometric ratio. You have your sine, cosine, and tangent. And the sine of an angle is the ratio of the opposite over the hypotenuse. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Make sure you guys are writing all of this. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse and tangent is opposite over adjacent. So you have sine opposite over hypotenuse, cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent opposite over adjacent. This will make more sense in just a moment, guys. A great way to remember that, make sure you write that, is SA-KA-TOA. S-O-H-C-A-H-T-O-A. -H -H -O -O Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. You see? All right, so what I want you to do now is draw this triangle, and we will label this triangle RST. RST, and of course, this is the right triangle. RS will be 5, RT 13, ST 12. First thing you're going to do is find the sine of angle R. You're going to find the sine of R. So if you look, the sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. All right, so the sine of R is opposite. So if you look, there's angle R. And the opposite from angle R is 12. And the hypotenuse of this triangle is 13. And that is it, guys. The sine of angle R is 12, which was opposite from 12, and the over the hypotenuse, which is 13. So 12 over 13. And the hypotenuse of a triangle will always be the hypotenuse of the triangle. It will never be an opposite angle. It will never be an adjacent angle. All right, next we have to find the cosine of R. So if you look up here, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. We wrote that here. So the cosine of R the adjacent is 5 and the hypotenuse is 13. So that is the cosine of angle R. Next you're going to find the tangent of R. To find the tangent of R, it is the opposite over adjacent. So the opposite over the adjacent. So look at angle R. There's your opposite tangent of R. Your opposite from R is 12 and your adjacent is 5. Hopefully, so far, this is pretty simple to you guys. 
All right, next page, trig ratios in special right triangles. We cannot get away from what we've already learned in here. You guys pretty much know that by now. All right, you have your special right triangles. You have your 45, 45, 90. Let's go ahead and mark that. If it's 45, 45, 90, we know the legs are both the same. And the hypotenuse is equal to leg root 2. And then you have your 30, 60, 90. Um, make sure you know these are 90s. Your 30 degree angles here. So we know that your short leg, we'll let that be S, is here. And your long leg is equal to the short leg times root 3. And your hypotenuse is equal to 2 times the short leg. So that's 2 times S for short. Your short leg S here. And then S short leg root 3. Pause the video if you need to to write this. Use a special right triangle to write cosine 30 degrees as a fraction. Guys. You have to know which triangle you are going to use. If I ask for cosine 30, you're going to use the 30, 60, 90 triangle, right? Not insulting your intelligence, but I just need you to understand this is the triangle you're going to use, the 30, 60, 90 triangle, because I'm asking for 30. Even if I ask for 60, you're going to have to use this triangle. The cosine of a 30 degree angle. All right, so here's your cosine 30. And if you look back to page 80, you know that cosine, sorry about that, y'all. You know that cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So let's find the cosine of 30. And this is the same as saying the cosine of 30 degrees, and it can be written as cosine 30 without the degree symbol there. So the cosine is adjacent. What side is adjacent to the 30 degree angle? This side is S root 3. And the hypotenuse of this triangle is 2S. So next, I want you to simplify. And when you simplify, these two S's cancel, so the cosine of 30 is root 3 over 2. Excuse my handwriting, it's the same everywhere I go, I'm sorry y'all. So the cosine of 30 is root 3 over 2, that is it, that is your answer. Next, we're going to use a special right triangle to write the tangent of 45 degrees as a fraction. So we're going to use this triangle, the 45, 45, 90 triangle. How do you know it's 45, 45, 90? You see a right triangle. We know the acute angles of a right triangle are complementary. And since these sides are the same, so are their opposite angles. So they're both 45 degree angles. So the tangent is opposite over adjacent. We'll go ahead and write that tangent. Oh, sorry, y'all. Again. Equals opposite over adjacent and it doesn't matter which 45 degree angle you use you just know that the opposite of this angle is L so the tangent of the 45 degree angle is opposite which is L and if you look the adjacent is L and you know it's understood to be in front of those L's is 1 and so what is L over L it's 1 it cancel so the tangent of 45 degrees is 1. All right, next page 82, using trig ratios to find side lengths. All right, so go ahead and copy this down. Find each length round to the nearest hundredth. You'll have triangle ABC. All right, triangle. AC will be 10.2. And angle B will be 15 degrees. This is all you have. I'm going to give you side AC. And I am going to give you angle B. And go ahead and copy that. I want you to find BC. Always, always, always 
fill in the variable, write in the missing side, what, you, what side we're looking for. So if we're looking for BC, go ahead and label that as X. All right, so we are given this 15 degree angle, angle B. We're given the opposite, and we're trying to find the adjacent. That will be the tangent. You're going to have to use a tangent, right? You can't use sine, that's opposite over hypotenuse. You can't use cosine, that's adjacent over hypotenuse. But you will use tangent because it uses both the opposite and the adjacent. So we're going to use the tangent of 15. All right, so the tangent of 15 is the opposite 10.2 over adjacent, which is x. And we're going to solve for x. Guys, you all know what to do to get rid of this x in the denominator. I'm going to show you the long way, and hopefully you guys will understand the pattern um, shortly. All right, so you multiply both sides by x. And that cancels. That is why you do that, right? So we now have x times tangent 15 is equal to 10.2. And then you're going to go through and divide both sides by tangent 15. And that cancels. And you should get x equals 10.2 over tangent 15. You just put in your calculator just like that. And um, you should get 38.07. So side BC is 38.07. Some of your calculators, guys, I've noticed that um, you will have to type in 15 first and then hit tangent. So just make sure you know your calculator. And if you're having trouble, I'll be um, more than happy to help you. All right, so next... We have triangle PQR. Um, this angle P will be 63 degrees, and I will give you 12.9. This is what I will give you, and I want you to find QR. So go ahead and label QR as X, and that's what we're finding. All right, so based off of angle P, we're given the opposite and we're looking for the opposite, I'm sorry, we're looking for the opposite, and we're given the hypotenuse. So which trig function do we use? We use sine. So you have sine of 63 equals opposite, I said trig function, I meant trig ratio, sorry y'all, over hypotenuse, 12.9. To get that x by itself, we're going to have to multiply both sides by 12.9 this time, right? Multiply by 12.9. This is your algebra, right, guys? All right, so I have 12.9 times sine 63 equals x. When you put in your calculator, please be sure not to put sine 63 times 12.9. Because your calculator will think you're trying to find the sine of whatever 63 times 12.9 is. But that is not the case here. So when you put in your calculator, you should get 11.49. So QR equals 